today i will be talking about human intelligence and the connection with the cosmic power the cosmic power is there for us and we merge out of it when we merge out of it we are manifested genetically coded and programmed with knowledge and with conscious this genetically programmed is being produced genet genetically by the sperm and the ova and then we manifested from the spirit power form to the visible human race we come with a mission here everybody is coded according to what they are supposed to do on this earth some becomes doctors engineers geologists archaeologists readers they become scribes good writers some become preachers and pastors some become keep decoding the knowledge like me so everybody has got a gift or a work to do on this earth finish your work and then leave this earth when we leave we are merged back into the cosmic power back again so while we are on this earth the decoding starts off the moment we are born and it continues till the death but the evil powers of the unu of this world the earth are also there they will always try and take you off the road of the cosmic energy that you have got and develop you into a being of evil powers so therefore besides the genetically programmed human race the power of cosmic power of god also sends the intelligentials into the earth like jesus they are manifested not genetically but spiritually through my immaculate conception and they come and preach the words do the miracles to show they are different and powerful beings sent by god the teachings are to be read and heard and listened because we have to be always charged with the universe the universal power and the recharging of the cosmic power are done when we read we understand and we follow the path shown by such intelligent beings that were sent by god jesus the son of god here the evil ones the evil powers of the universe just does not want the intelligence to be there in a human race they try always to unplug you from the cosmic power of intelligence because intelligence will make the sound and the hearing both very powerful we will hear we will see and the intelligence keeps recharging with the power of all these intelligent people who have come on the earth and given us the teachings and the ways to conduct our life so first thing the evil ones do is to unplug you stop the recharging that we have from the cosmic power they will not want the intelligence to grow and the conscious to be killed because when the intelligence is there the conscious is pricked that you don't do wrong things when you do anything which is not correct the conscious pricks and you stop doing it you don't do, want to do it you don't want to hurt people who want to do evil things the conscious stops you so they want to unplug you from the recharging that the good cosmic powerful intelligentials have come and they recharge you throughout your life with the cosmic power of intelligence and they the evil ones want to unplug you so when they unplug you first thing is the intelligence goes the conscious is skilled the hearing and seeing watching also diminishes you become blind it is very easy to hold a hand of a blind person and lead them anywhere let them do anything take them to a wrong path teach them wrong things so the evil of the earth they now make you into a barren land 
the fertile land that was there with the preachings and the teachings that made a person charged with the cosmic powers are taken away. When they are taken away, the land becomes, a human land becomes un infertile. And the infertile land, then they plug, put their seeds of hatred, domination, deception, deceiving, and the biggest of it is hate. Hate among the human race. Hate for anything, be it country to country or people to people, caste to caste, and many more things. The hatred is created because they are blinded. They do not see that the blindness was created for them not to understand, not to see, not to hear, but hear only what the evil Satan is saying. And these two do understand only what they are saying, the evil ones. They forget because they have no intelligence, no power. They are weaker people. So they are led with hand, blindfolded to the path which is so wrong. And they become their people, the followers, the blind followers of the Satan. It had been throughout the history if we take the King Nebuchadnezzar in the Bible, Second Kings, you will see that the Israelites, when Joseph brought the 70 brothers and their family during the famine to the Egypt, to Egypt, they multiplied and became so many. There were 70 and there were in millions. Then they started getting into the evil ways of the world. The evil ways of the world made them into people who were um, going the wrong way, using their blindness. And with their blindness, they forgot what they are supposed to do. And they start doing things which is not correct in the eyes of God. God made them left them, and they became weak, very, very weak. And they were made into slaves. Till Moses came and he took them out. And the exodus happened to the promised land. But later also, with time, again they changed. Again they went the evil ways, the people of God. And then comes King Nebuchadnezzar, who himself thought himself to be, he was made to think himself to be no less than a God, a human God. And do things any, any way they find. And the people of God were weak. So he plundered the temple of Solomon, took the people in captive, they are made slaves. Even the young prince of Judah like Daniel, they were all made captives. But they had the power. They, and they kept themselves plugged into the power of the cosmic God. The most powerful cosmic power is God. And they kept themselves plugged to it. So they became the people whom God was very pleased. And later on, they were instrumental in redeeming the people of the God from captivity. And with their blessings and with their prayers, God helped the people whom he loved very much. This is what happens. Keep yourself plugged to the cosmic power of God, the intelligence, the consciousness, everything is coded inside of you. We come with a purpose. Do not let your purpose be stopped for what you are there to do. There will be people who will keep on demeaning you, not letting you go further in life and do things you want to do. Especially they will want you to be blind and follow them and become their evil followers to do the evil things in the world. The intelligence, the consciousness, all is killed. And whatever the evil ones want you to do, blindfoldly, you follow them and do it. There's a saying, I read somewhere, do not let the evil of others kill the good in you. If you are plugged, and always recharging yourself by reading your scriptures, following the good path, 
following the teachings that give you so much of insight into how you should conduct your life and what you have come for, you become very authoritative, just like what Jesus was. Because he was a son of God, he spoke in authority. He did his works in authority. That kind of authority he gives you also when you become his followers, his good path followers. The good path of followers of anything which is good is good. So many intelligent people have come on this in this earth and they show us very good path. Preachers, many preachers have come, they give such beautiful sermons and watch them also. How much energized they make you. By listening, you become so energized that this is what we should be doing. Leave the path of evil. Do not make yourself an infertile land for people to come and sow their evil seeds of hatred. Therefore, the biggest, the biggest lesson, the biggest thing that Jesus said is love. And in time to come, love and the spirituality of this world that is saved by the people who learn, listen to the good teachings will save the world. Otherwise, the countries will fight with each other. People will fight for each other for no reason. They won't take anything from this world. But fighting for something which is not theirs, they will continue doing it. Do not follow their ways. Do not be blind. Charge yourself. Charge your intelligence. The coding is there. The decoding keeps happening from the day you are born to the day you die. The decoding is happening there. Keep it recharged by the words and teachings that have been given to us in the various scriptures also, in the nature also. Nature te teaches us to grow. The plants don't fight. They keep growing. Under them the seeds keep growing. It is we human who cut them, burn them, or destroy them. The plants themselves don't destroy each other. This is what it is. Learn from the nature. Learn from the teachings of God. How good it is to be intelligent always. And do not run after the things of this world. They're not going to go with us, ever. They will stay here. Don't keep following the people just to please them. Many times people follow people to please them, to be happy and to be, not to be cornered. Be strong in what you have come here for. Be strong in what is your intelligence says to you, what your conscience says to you to do. And do not follow the followers. Let the people follow you. This was a little thought which I have written and I'm trying to share with people who like it. So my humble request again is the same. Do watch it, like it, subscribe, and share my videos to other people. That will encourage me a lot. This is Anita Binepal from Masuri. God bless you and be with you. Remain intelligent, remain plugged, and charge yourself. Thank you so much for watching.